So, what is Dehancer? Dehancer is the software product for film like color grading, dozen of real photographic and motion picture films, precisely capture and package in simple to use plugin with truly analog controls, simulating real film behavior and effect. Dehancer is the plugin for Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and a lot of film looks that really make your footage looks vintage and different. Who is the answer for? Yeah, I think this is more personal preference. For me, the answer is the plugin that you must have in your editing software. Especially like me, a Final Cut Pro users, and you might already know that Final Cut Pro is so limited with the tools. The answer will really help a lot when I want to make a film look on my videos. It's been so long that I really want this type of plugin for my Final Cut Pro because it's so hard to make a film look. Uh, so natural inside the Final Cut Pro and the answer comes with the idea for easy to use plugin for every level even you are beginners or professional that already knows uh, how to color grade how to editing you know uh, this plugin is gonna be speed up of your workflow you know it's gonna be help a lot and for beginners even you are doesn't know how to color grade you can create a beautiful image, beautiful looks inside the handset because because the handset is already provide everything for you. A lot of film look inside the handset that you can choose, you know, with easy step and simple touch. You can get really really nice color grading and film look that you want. So I think we have to move to my editing desktop to show you guys. Okay, guys, now I'm here in front of my computer. Uh, I just want to show you how I edit inside Final Cut Pro because I'm Final Cut Pro user and I want to edit as simple as possible because this plugin are not made for professional only but also made for beginners. Everyone can use this plugin, you know. Uh, yeah, without further ado, just let's get into it, you know. The first thing first, what I usually do is add color for something like this and uh, add the handset straight away see the hands already provide the look for you you know but for me i like to do things my own you know like source i choose camera and then the fender is gonna be sony the camera is gonna be fx3 and then this one is gonna be sk 3 cine you know and then the film look what my favorite is this one Fuji and traffic with 500 because the look I, I I don't know I love the look you know it's warm you know perfect with the scene and yeah here in the highlight it's too bright there I need to make a little bit down to show that the clouds there still and shade a little bit up also mid tones a little bit up okay that's perfect and color adjustment i need to make little bit not little bit mm. all the way to the minus you know because i love the way it looks so film expression you know film compression turn off print also turn off the main thing is here you know uh, I want to work with these three features here like film grain, halation, and bloom. That's it. You know what I always do. Only three features here. It's perfect for me. Sometimes I get, I add more get wave here because I want to make more shakiness on the footage, you know. But right now, I think I don't need that. Okay. First, it's going to be film grain. Yeah, film grain here uh, there is a lot of number here I mean yeah just 8 16 35 65 more number less green and then less number is going to be more green for example like this 65 500 you know it's a little bit more clean here right and then you can change to 8 mil ISO 500 see it's too obvious for me I don't like the, the way it looks what I like to do, I always want to make 
everything so minimum that's why i want to choose this 65 mil iso like 250 it's going to be more than enough for me the grain here on the building here is yeah it's already nice there so first enable it don't forget it okay enable it the helation uh let's see the 60 mil 8 mil it's not that obvious probably i need to rim jet no rim jet i don't know what that means man no rim jet no rim jet let me try to find it later on like you can see here you can see it in the hair the red line right and no rim jet i think it's more than more helation than than this one this one you cannot even see it right but you can use this one is more right so i think is i think here is already perfect so i add the bloom yeah it's already there the bloom is already there because i add the the division filter on in front of my lens uh, probably i just want to add a little bit more the bloom here no this one okay 65 it's more than enough see see i just just small bloom because i already have it yeah i love the way it looks already it's look nice but here the shadow the mid tones and the, the highlights still not proper you know to fix this i just need add color port one more time you know and then adjust the shadow on the zero one and then the mid tones also the highlight mid just pull up a little bit you know yeah i think it's perfect you know i love the way it looks already see the look is already nice here yeah yeah the look is already nice even with simple touch you know it's already changed everything you know I'm gonna show you this before and after see it's looking nice man and like like I said before I have two methods here the first method everything is gonna be inside the dehancer and then the second method uh, I'm gonna make my own look you know with my own lot first thing first add same thing always you know add lot too and also add more color board okay first no color board this one need to be delayed first the lot of rec 709 rec 709 here i use this one and also is way too bright right but it's okay you can fix it later on and then after that uh, this one I wanna I wanna put my own lot, you know. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Nope. I think the uh, this one is going to be great. And then here, like before, uh, just maintain the bright side of the footage. I just drop here the exposure. And then here also. I need to trap. I think it's looking good already and then color adjustment here. Nice. Also add the enhancer. Now I need to turn off this film look. Also turn off this one. And also this one. Yeah. Same like before I just work with this three feature, you know, film gray, helation and bloom. This film grain is too much, also I need to make a little bit more clean. You know, I don't like the look, it's too obvious for me. Yeah, 65 ISO 50, it's gonna be perfect for the scenes. So the helation, enable it. And the helation is going to be like... Yeah. 
flat in it's so minimum right so minimum like you can see on the this side with red color that's mean the hill is on only that side uh, okay if you if you see to minimum you can use the no rim jet here it's going to be a little bit more but yeah i think it's great right yeah i think it's great but you can custom you can make your own custom here but for now yeah i don't need that i just use this no rim jet i think it's too much here yeah 35 here is going to be really great and then we need to add bloom right bloom is too much here i just need to add a little bit more because i already already bloom there in the foot because already the bloom is already there you know i just want to add a little bit more i i think it's this footage look great already and then same like before we need to fix the mid-tone shadow and the uh, highlight so add one more color board here okay so just bring it down a little bit and mid tones bring it down to and highlight a bit more a bit more yeah i think this one is already perfect man like you can see see before and after before after before after yeah i think that's it with simple touch you still can get the look that you want that's why the handset is really perfect plugin for everyone yeah uh let's go back to the studio hey there what's up yeah i am not uh, sitting inside my studio because i just want to make my videos more refreshing because uh, my surrounding house is so beautiful with two mountains there you know and then the rice field here it's so green you know it's so refreshing for me at least for me and uh, why i'm here i want to talk about my conclusion about the plugin that i've been reviewing you know the dehancer pro for final cut pro you know because i'm a final cut pro users you know and for me the dehancer is worth having plugin for film look you know because the uh, dehancer is so much easier to use you know whatever your level at you know because the uh, dehancer uh, comes with the idea that uh, easy to use plugin for every level of you you know even though you're professional you are beginners uh, or you already knows everything about editing stuff you know yeah as uh, Final Cut Pro users, you might already know that uh, Final Cut Pro is so limited with the tools and then it's so hard to, to make a beautiful film look, you know. Yeah, you cannot find the helation tools, maybe the grain there, but the helation, the bloom, you cannot find it, you know, because, yeah, it's so limited. If you wanted to edit, it's going to be takes a lot of time, you know, takes a lot of layers of your footage. That's why the answer comes with the idea that really, really, I think really, really brilliant idea because, uh, yeah, the answer is help a lot for me as a Final Cut Pro user, you know, because inside the dehancer, it's a lot of film look that you can choose, you know, it's so interesting lot also inside there and it's also you can get helation, grain, uh, bloom, etc a lot of thing you can choose inside the dehancer you know yeah that's why the dehancer is uh, worth having plugin for film look like i said you know and yeah i think that's it for now and don't forget if you wanna buy this plugin you can use this code below me you know you can use this code because uh I'm uh, because uh, I'm collaborating with the Hanser making this video for reviewing their product and then you can use this code you're gonna get 10% discount you know yeah I think that's it for now 
uh, I want to enjoy my beautiful view here. The sun is it's so beautiful. Also, the view is so beautiful. So, uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. So, peace.